five pounders, three pounders. And I also have my 10 pound, my new ring. This is a Bala ring. Um, they sell them on their website. I put a little link um, in my equipment um, section of stories if you wanna grab one. It's 10 pounds. So I want you guys to start looking for eight to 10 pounds or more um, of a weight to start incorporating into our workouts. Um, and this is gonna be mine. So we might use this a little bit today. Again, five pounds, three pounds, mat. I have my 10 pounder. I am using a playlist from last week, 727, because I like it. And um, that's it. Let's get started. All right, go ahead and grab your three pounders. All right, go ahead and just do some lifts here to the side, lateral raises with your shoulders. So I did an upper body workout this last week and I was so sore from doing it. So I encourage you guys, if you are doing my workouts and you want a little extra arm or you're doing your own cardio and want to add in some upper body, go for it. It was a really good one. Just look for upper body under the library. Two more and then we're gonna take it to a front raise, just warming up. And one, hands here, hammer position, just lower and raise down or raise up. Brain's not totally functioning yet, guys. Good, raise up and lower down. Up and lower down. So really keep your core engaged so you're not swinging your body around. Five more, four, Three, two, and one. Hold it here. I just want you to open and close your arms like you're hugging a tree. Arms are slightly bent, so from the side, looks like this. I'm leaning slightly forward. Go eight more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, hold it to the side, just raise and lower. Raise and lower, eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, little upper body warm up, four, three, two, and one, good. Weights come to the center right here. We're gonna go into a curtsy lunge. So right leg comes back and you're gonna come down and then squat it out. So curtsy lunge, squat it out. On these curtsy lunges, it's super easy to turn out your hip to the outside. I want you to try to stay square. So curtsy and down. Curtsy and down. Let's do four more and we're gonna switch sides. Get your squat every time. Chest is lifted, core is tight, don't lean back. Two and one. We're gonna hold this side down for five, for four, square your hips. Three, two, and one. Nice job. So let's switch sides. Same thing. Hip square, left leg comes back into a squat. And down. Get nice and low. So thinking about squaring your hips off, you just gotta think about these are two headlights, right? Facing forward. Four more. Four. Three, I'm already burning. Two, and one, last one. Let's come to the side, little, little tiny pulses down. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, now you're gonna step to the side or you're gonna jack it out. Simple, staple in our workouts. Knees stay bent, little soft landing. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Back to those curtsy lunges. We're gonna alternate sides. So you lunge and then you squat. So getting every single move in every time. Five, four, 
three, two, we're gonna go back to those jacks, and one, hold it here, jack it out, or you're here. Okay, if you don't wanna do jumping, just alternate your legs. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, again, right leg comes over, right here, how much you need up. Woo! So bring your knee up, curtsy, knee. When you bring that knee up, think about really squeezing in your side body. Point your toe when you raise your leg. Eight more. Seven. Six. Five, it feels like a Monday, wow. Four. Three. Two, we're gonna hold it down again right here. Hold it down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Alternate to your squat. So squat, alternate. Squat, alternate. I am burning, you guys. It's good, I guess, right? It's what we want. Five, squat. Four, get every move. Squat. Three. Two, last one, take it to the side, left leg back, curtsy down, knee up, curtsy down, and knee up. So as I'm watching myself, keep those hips square, okay? I have the tendency, like we all do, to wanna to turn out. Keep them square, right towards me to the front. Bring in that nice pointed toe, five, Four, three, two, inner thigh is burning. One, pull it down, pulse it out. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, let's jack it out, come on. So you're stepping to the side or you're jacking it out. Eight, seven, whoo, six, Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, go ahead and grab your five pounders. I gotta tie my shoe. I gotta get a sip of water. Five pounders, if you don't have heavier weights, no big deal. You can stay with your lighters. All right. So, how do we start? We started with some upper body, okay? We're incorporating it again today. So right here, lifting up to the side, lateral raise. Good. Five. A little refresher, four. We're gonna add some lower body. Three, two, to a front raise. Hammer position, let's go. Up for eight, seven, Six, core tight. Again, I'm slightly leaning forward. Four, three, two, and one. Hold it here, open and close. We're not gonna go as far out. A little heavier, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold it up to the side and just hold. If you can, little lifts, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, that lateral raise, we're going into a reverse lunge. Right leg goes back, here we go. So come back and bring it up. Back and up. So from the side, you go straight down and up. So you try to keep your chest raised. It should burn. Okay, squeezing that booty cheek of that back leg. Five, four, three, we're gonna hold it down, two, and one. Lower your arms, hammer curl, right here. So staying down in that lunge, squeeze your booty, cheek your back leg, keep your hips square, meaning you're not leaning over, arms in tight. Eight, seven, six, five, 
four, three, you're gonna come into a knee hop or just raise your knee, and one, like this. Bring it up and down, another staple of our Illuminate workouts. Hop it down and bring it up. Or I guess it's hop it up and bring it down, right? Five, four, three, two, you're gonna hold the next one down. One, hold it down, a little pulse size. Eight, seven, squeeze your butt cheek. Five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go. Hop it up. Eight, seven, I'm with you. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it down, pulse it out. Let's go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, hop it up for five. Here we go. Five, or you're just raising a knee like this. Four, three, two, one, hold it down, go. Five, four, we're going to three. Three, two, and one. Here we go. Three, two, one, hold it down. Three, two, and one. I just want you to alternate your lunges. So when you squeeze your butt cheek of that back leg, you're also opening up that hip flexor in front, right? So take it as a nice little stretch too. Eight. Six. Four. Good lunges, you guys. 90 degree angles with those legs. Two. Last one, hold it back right here. So, left leg is back this time. Let's just get that position. Bring your pelvis in so you open up your hip flexor, correct? Okay, step it in, here we go. Front raise, reverse lunge, let's go. We've already been here twice. Familiar with the movement of your upper body. I'm using heavier weights to get into really that upper body just a little bit more. And they're not even that heavy compared to what some people do, right? So five pounds, listen, if you wanna just stick with three, go for it. I've had people tell me they're ready to step it up a little bit with their upper body. So we're gonna use heavier weight. Let's do four more, four, three, Two, I want us to hold it down and I'm just gonna do lift and lower, okay? Lift and lower. So drop your shoulders out of your ears and think about lifting up from the center of your elbow up to your wrist, straight line, slight bend. Four, three, square your hips, squeeze that butt cheek. Two, and one, arms come down. Here we go, up and down. We've got three sets. So you're either bringing up your knee or you're adding a hop at the top. Get your heart rate up a little bit. Woo, falling over. Eight more. Eight, seven, six. We're gonna hold it down and pulse. Five, four, three, Two, one, hold it down, pulse it out, go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, let's take it to five times, come on. Five, four, three, if it burns, good. Two, and one, hold it down right here, pulse it out. Five, four, three, two, we're taking it to three. Let's go, three. Two, and one, pulse it down, let's go. Three, two, one, step it up, alternate your lunges. Alternate. So again, squeezing your butt cheek, have that back leg. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good, okay. If you have a 10 pounder, grab it now. 
anybody has a solution for eyes that water in the morning, what the heck, maybe it's just my age. Grab your 10 pounder or eight. Listen, if you don't have a heavier weight, you can put your weights together, right? Just hold them. So if you have your two weights together, like two fives, just hold them down in front. Okay, this is 10 pounds. Again, it's a ring. I know probably all of you know nobody has a ring from Bala. But we're gonna work on our deadlifts, okay? Sculpting the back of that leg, lifting our booty. Left leg is gonna be stationary, right leg is gonna come back. So what, what, whatever you have with your weights, just drop them in front of you, shoulders stay here. Okay, so let's just practice bending over and coming up. Like we're trying to touch our toes, but look at my legs. They're not moving. Okay, I keep my stationary position, slight bend in my legs, okay? My chest stays lifted. I'm just bending at that hip joint, okay? So I'm bending over and I'm coming up. Everything else stays the same. And then it's like I'm touching my toes. So I want you to go all the way down until you feel a stretch in the back of your legs and then you come right back up. But I want you to think about activating your glutes when you're coming up to raise it. So when you come down, everybody hold it down here. Hold it down here. I want you to think about squeezing your butt cheek, like your, your booty cheeks, like activating your butt, okay? And then keep that feeling and lift yourself up, okay? Go back down. Feel a stretch. Activate your glutes. Come all the way up. Do it again. Down. Activate your glutes and bring it up. Okay, now we're gonna do it with one leg. So, left leg stays stationary, right leg is gonna come back. You can either um, kickstand it or it can travel with you. Okay, same thing. Left leg stays completely still and you're just bending at your hip joint. So, regardless of if you have a kickstand or if you have a leg moving like I do, your butt cheek of your back leg is squeeze tight, okay? Then on your stationary leg, you're thinking about that same thing we did before, activating your glute before you bring yourself up, okay? You can literally lift your butt, okay? And as I'm getting older, I realize the importance of this. Uh, okay, so, we gotta keep working on it, otherwise we lose it, you guys. And sometimes what happens is we get so far down the line of losing it, we get frustrated and just give up. Don't do that. It's never too late to start. But I think we think that we have to just keep working ourselves into the ground to stay in shape, and it's just not the case, okay? That was my mentality for like 15 years, and now I'm paying for it. So let's stay consistent. Okay, let's do things that maybe we feel like, why, what is the point of this right now? But we keep doing it and it adds up and we see the difference. Let's do two more. High reps, you guys, obviously. Keep your hips square to the ground. Okay, hold this one down. Just hold it, okay? Now bring your arms out so that they're right underneath your shoulder blades or your shoulders. Now lift, eight, seven, Six. My elbows are out to the side. They could also come in like this. Four, three, two. I'm totally shaking. And one. Let's go for three more. Bring it up and bring it down. Two. And one. Hold it here. Let's row again. So when you're on the ground doing those supermans, try to strengthen that back, lower back. This is the same thing. Four, three. I'm burning two, and one. Let's do three more again. Woo, we're almost there. Three, two, and one. Last time, let's row. Elbows out or elbows in, I don't care. Five, four, I'm dying. Three, two, and one. Woo, I always feel myself start to lose my form when I get tired, right? Okay, go ahead and put your weight down. All right, so we're gonna do open squat, center, lunge, and lunge. 
here we go. So open, center, lunge, lunge. If you want to do this, you can, okay? You don't have to jump. Open, center, lunge, lunge, open, center, lunge, and lunge. Open, center, you can lunge, and you can lunge. You don't have to stay with me, but I want you to get every rep in. Meaning don't skip. Five more. Like don't give up, I meant. Don't just stand there. Three more. Woo! Two more. Last one. Alternate those lunges, open your hips. Ah! Alternate your lunges. Open your hips, squeeze your butt cheek to your back leg. Oh, four more. Three more. Two more. One. Oh, okay. Other side, guys. I'll do this one with my weights so you can see what it looks like without my fancy ring. I love my ring though, so. Thinking about getting something. I know a couple of you have just 10 pound weights. In this case, you're holding it like that. Okay, here we go. Right leg, slightly bent. Let's just do regulars so we get the feel. Once again, remind ourselves, chest stays lifted, meaning heart is open. Okay, legs stay the same. Go all the way down, activate your glutes and bring yourself up. All the way down, activate your glutes, and bring yourself up. Let's do two more, then we're moving to those high reps on your right side. And I guarantee you, if you're doing like this, like I'm telling you to do, you're gonna be real sore tomorrow, okay? All right, let's go down here, lift it back up. Right leg is stationary, left leg is either in that nice kickstand position, Okay, if you're there, again, do not open your hips. Squeeze your booty cheek at that back leg. If you're either staying there and bending at your hips or you're moving with me, leg goes up and down. Here we go. So arms stay nice and heavy. Whoa, it's way harder to balance when you don't have that ring. One weight. So good job. So I'm gonna try to look at my form. So yeah, so just bending at your hip joint and think about at the bottom, activating that glute at the bottom. Think about it. Activate it and then use it to pull yourself back up. At the bottom, pull yourself back up. I'm gonna go ahead and lace my fingers. So again, try to keep your hips nice and square. That was a bad one. Okay, chest stays lifted. So arms really are just traveling down the front of your leg. Squeeze your booty cheek of your back leg, no matter if it's moving or it's staying. So if it's staying, it's just right here. You're bending over so you feel that stretch. Let's do five more. I know we did a lot of reps on that other side, so I'm gonna even it out. Four. I feel like I'm already sore, you guys. Three. Two. And one. Hold it here. I want you to activate that back leg and row. Seven. Six. It's activated even it's on the ground. Five. Four. Ah. Three. Two. And one. Here we go. Five times. Down and up. Five. Four, three, two, and one. Hold it down, row. Five, four. You can have that leg up if you want to. Three, but if you start to open up your hips, put it down. And one. Let's do three of them. Here we go. Three, two, and one. Hold it down. Let's row. Three, two, 
and one. Nice job. Weights down. Woo. Oh, my booty. Okay. So again, you're activating the backside posterior chain, also some lower back, right? So that's part of your posterior chain. All right, here we go. Open and close, open and close. Reverse lunge, reverse lunge. Here we go, three, two, one. So open and close, open and close. Reverse lunge, reverse lunge. Okay, so there's all different levels here. I'm gonna do the highest level. Here we go, open and close, and then you do four of these. Open and close, open and close. Four, three, two, one. Or you're here, open, open, reverse lunge, reverse lunge. Pick it, pick it. So, higher intensity, two open and close, four lunge jumps. Lower intensity, two of each. Okay, so pick it, keep going. Keep going. So you pick which one you're doing. One, two, or you go open, close, and four, three, or maybe you combine the both. Yeah, like I did in the beginning. Let's do two more sets, regardless of what you're doing. Last one. Check it out, check it out. Good job, guys, keep going. Eight, seven, time check. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job, okay. Lightweight, if you have them, if you don't have them, no big deal, I guess I don't have to keep giving that disclaimer. I actually started pretty much on time today. Okay, so we have about 13 minutes. All right, going back into that curtsy lunge, okay? We're gonna go right leg back this time. So right leg back, right arm is gonna come out the same side. This arm stays across your chest, here we go. So here, and raise it forward, right here. Raise it forward. So from the side, looks like this. To the side, raise it forward to a squat. Side, raise it forward to a squat. So I have my lighter weights because we're swinging our arm in two different ranges of, or planes of motion. And for me, that can start to hurt me if I have too heavy of a weight. So, I am using my lighter weight, which I completely already feel anyway. Four, three, two, last one. I want you to hold it here, arm comes to the side, open and close, so it looks like this. Open and close. Eight, hip square, seven, six, five, four, three, you're gonna hold that weight above your head, two, and one, bring it right above your head. Okay, now you're gonna come up and do a side crunch. So we did this the other day, if you were on my upper body workout. So I really, guys, keep going. I really want you to think about squeezing your side body right here, like let it all fold over, okay? Down here, squeeze it up. Down here, uh, squeeze it up. I have a lot of people say, I don't feel this. I can't activate it, keep going. I have a video that's like a standing ab tutorial. Do that, okay, it helps you through. Three more, three, two, and one. Just hold it up here, just squeeze. Squeeze as hard as you can. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, other side. I don't know if it's Monday. I don't know if I'm tired. I had sushi last night, which I always have the sushi sushi hangover. Sodium. Okay. Or maybe it's just hard. Which hopefully it is, right? Okay, left leg comes back. 
right arm crosses over like this. Okay, so you bring it here and bring it up. And bring it up. So down. Oh, I forgot we're squatting. Yeah. Ah. Here we go. So, so here and squat. Right? And squat. How did I do that? Down and up. Okay, swing it. Yes. And up. There we go. Down and up. Go down. Go up. Go down. So reverse lunge. And then you bring it forward. So here, use your movement. And then you bring it up. Oh, this is what I did. Down and forward. Whatever, you guys. I think we got it. Down and up. But if I'm not doing the right thing and you want to do what I did before, go for it. It feels right. Let's do eight more. Seven, six, five, four, three, inner thigh, two, woo, and one. Hold it here. Lift, bring it out and center. Out and center. Hips are square. Okay, squeeze your booty cheek on that back leg. Eight, seven, ugh. Six, five, keep them square. Four, three, two, and one. Hand comes up above your head. Here we go. Down, bring it up and squeeze. Side body, up and squeeze. You should feel that booty cheek of that stationary leg. Woo! So really get in there, you guys. Down, squeeze it up. Down, squeeze it up. So rib to your hip bone. Good. Keep going. Five, four, three. We're gonna hold it up. Two, hold at the top and just squeeze, squeeze. Eight, seven, uh, six, five, four, three, two. Holy cow. Okay, palm stretch. Ugh. So we're gonna add in a little bit more cardio. Stuff that we've already done. A lot of curtsy lunges today. We're gonna add in our open and close, reverse lunges. We're gonna add some core and upper body. Okay, coming down to plank, doing some push-ups. I think I had a dream about push-ups last night. Whatever, okay. I am not gonna use a weight. You are more than welcome to. All right, here we go. So, curtsy squat, curtsy squat, curtsy squat, and curtsy squat. We're gonna do three more, and then we're gonna move this into skaters. So all you do for a skater is take out that middle squat and extend your back leg like this. I still would like you to keep your hips square. Yeah, another illuminate staple right here. Or you're here. Up and down. Here we go. Eight more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Take it to that reverse lunge. Squeeze your butt cheek. Good. Five. Four, we're gonna speed it up. You're either gonna take it to a lunge jump, okay, or you're just gonna speed it up, let's go. So you're either here, or you speed it up. You speed it up and switch it out. Switch it out, switch it out, let's go. Keep going, so you're lunge jumping, or you're switch lunging quickly. Keep going, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, and one. Take it to a lunge, bring it up in the center. So it's like we did with the curtsy lunge and squat, okay? But this time you're squatting to each side and bringing it up in center. Five, four, three, two, one. Open and close, let's go. Open and close, or you're here. 
or you're here. Doesn't matter, just keep going. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, 10 seconds. We put it all together. You got one minute of work. We're gonna take it down into the core, into the rest of the upper body in three, in two, and one. Let's go, skate it out, skate it out. 20 seconds of each. If you've already been here, so now it's just getting through. Okay, 10 seconds. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Reverse lunge, go. Reverse lunge, whatever you're doing. So you're here, okay? You're switching it out quick, or you're just reverse lunging. Keep going, I'm gonna talk. Squeeze your butt cheeks, five, four, three, two, let's go, open close. Open close, we're almost there, or you're here. You gotta take it down for a second, take it down, and then bring it right back up. Go. Ah. 10, nine, eight, or you're here, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Right away in plank, don't even think about it. Down in plank. Yes, you can. Let's go. Hold your body. Perfect plank. Shoulders are over. Your wrists. Hold. Pull up in your, through your belly. Okay. Head is in line with your spine. Push through your heels. Okay. Regular push up. Okay. Four. Three. Two, and one, here we go. Down, up one. Down, up two, head in line with your spine. Down, up three. Down, up four. Down, up five, whole plank. Whole plank. Push through your heels, suck in through your belly. Four, three, two, and one. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. <clears throat> Working again on your posterior chain. And um, literally, I guess we're doing both sides, okay? So you're gonna hold your plank. You're gonna do two push-ups. So one, two, lower yourself to the ground, sprawl, lift for two, arms come back in, push yourself up, two push-ups. So two push-ups, lower yourself to the ground, sprawl, lift, for two, tuck your hands, bring yourself up, two push-ups, lower down, sprawl out, lift, for two, even if you're at your knees, you can do it for your knees, two push-ups, up to plank, lower yourself down, out, little lift, little lift, tuck your hands, tuck your feet, bring it up, let's do two more sets. Lower yourself down, sprawl out. Little lift, little lift. Tuck your hands, this is the last one. Lower yourself down, right here. Two lifts, push it in. I want you to push yourself up and hold plank. Just hold, soft bend in your elbows, suck up through your belly, push through your heels, shoulders are over. Okay, if you have to come to your knees, you have to come to your knees, but just hold it. 10, nine, eight, we got this. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, grab your mat. Woo, we're almost there guys. Nice work. So you're gonna be on your side facing me. All right, I should have grabbed two towels. Ah. Okay, so lean on your side, like we're hanging. Okay, hips are in line with your ribs. Knees are in front. I gotta turn this down. Okay, knees are in front. So you're kind of in like a little bit of a pike position. Okay, so I can see my knees. From there, this bottom leg, is gonna come back. 
my left leg comes out. So I'm still in that pike position, okay? I'm just right here. All right, so arm comes down on your side like this, and you're just gonna lift and you're gonna lower. Lift and lower. So you could do this super absent-mindedly and just like sit there and be like, why am I doing this? What is happening? Okay, and yes, I have an ankle weight on, so I'm gonna feel it a little more. I have a one pound ankle weight on. But I literally want you to have your little top leg just engaged a ton. So it's nice and straight. I have my toe pointed and I'm pulling up through my side body like we did when we were on the ground or standing up, right? Same thing. But this time we're working in that side glute as well. So go five more, four, three, two, and one. Now I want you to go ahead and prop yourself up, okay? Hand behind my head like this, and I'm gonna pull it in and out, in and out. So again, toe is nice and pointed. I for sure have my rolls going on here. I really wanna bend there, and that's a good thing, okay? So you're squeezing and extending. So extend up, open it up, and then bring it in. Toe is pointed. Knee on the bottom is still supporting you. So pull it in. Okay, I want you to like you're pushing against something and you do that by squeezing. Yes. Five, four, three, two, and one. Let's alternate. So I want you to raise and then squeeze it in. So we're up this time again on, I'm supporting my head with my arm. I suppose you could go down on your side and lift, but I feel it more when I'm already propped up. Okay, it's kind of like when you're on an exercise ball on your back. Okay, you're already in the right position. You just have to do a little more. Five more, four more, three, two, and one. I just want you to hold it in and squeeze, just hold. Like we did when we were standing up. Ooh, it's cramping. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, now we're gonna pike it up like this. Okay, you could also just do this, but I want you this time to be moving your upper body. I'm really regretting these ankle weights now. <laughs> Not really. Eight more. Seven, so you're either doing one leg like this, or both legs. Five, that was not pretty. Four, you're on that back butt cheek. Three, two, hold it at the top. And one, little, 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 little. So here, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo. Okay, go ahead and sit it up and just stretch it out. So my knees are going to the side I just worked. And up I go. Oh, that feels so good. Okay, other side. Almost done, guys. If you need more uh, core, center core, just repeat what we just did, okay? With the push-ups, um, and then you could also do some bicycles, but we got more of that this week. And you can always do another one of my core exercise workouts if you want to, okay. so. Propping now right here, lifting and lowering. And lower. So again, I'm just gonna relax everything right now and just lift and lower like this. And I literally would be like, I don't get it. I kind of feel my side booty a little bit. Oops, I forgot to bend my leg. So that, that, that bottom leg again is propped, okay? You're in a slight pike position, meaning there's a crease in your hips, okay? Engage. Engage. One more. Four. Three. Two. And one. Prop yourself up. In and out right here. So in, push out. So in, open it up. In, open it up. 
Definitely feel it more with these little ankle weights. I know some of you have ordered some that are on massive back order. Ugh. I'm happy for those girls at Bala, but wow. Five, four, three, squeeze your side body, two, and one. We alternate, we up and down. We go up, oh, we go in. Yes, I feel this in my outer glute, in my hip, from all those curtsy lunges. Four more, four. Four more sets. Three more. Three. Two more. Up and in. Last one. We're gonna hold this one in. Hold it and squeeze. Just squeeze. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Another one. Okay, here we go. Lift and lower. Piking up here. Remember, or you're here, or you're here. So I'm definitely, keep going, I'm definitely on that side of my bottom is still, side, bleh, easy for me to say. I'm still on that side, hip, booty cheek of that bottom leg. Eight, seven, I can't wait till this is done, oh my gosh. Six, five, keeping it real, four, Three, two, and one. Let's go, little taps, little taps. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, knees go to the way we were just working. Oh, this is gonna feel amazing. Right here, up and over. Uh, That was a good little burner. Again, if you need more, add in some of those little short guys. I got a ton of them on my YouTube channel. You can just scroll through and pick what sounds like, where it needs targeting. Uh, hands, her legs out in front. Go ahead and just lift up and pull it down. Just let your upper body hang. Get these bad boys off. Release in your lower back. Oh, I'm gonna take time when I turn this off to do some spinal twists. So feel free to keep stretching. I hope you do drink water. Have an awesome week, you guys. I'll see you on Wednesday.